Okay, I'm just going to give like an update on my Datsun 620 project. It's been a long time since I've done like an actual talk to the camera video. Um, so this is the current state. I'm going to go over a little of the background and if you're not interested in that kind of stuff and you just want to see about the truck skip in the video, like the thumbnail will be first person, not selfie. Alright, um, so like it's been my daily driver for almost two years now. Um, shortly after I bought it, I just had so much fun in it that I sold my Mazda hatchback um, with plans of fixing this up. But then that turned into an issue where, as a daily driver, you can't break it down and really put the time in it that it needs. Um, but recently, I've been able to work from home with the pandemic situation. So that's been really helpful uh, with this project. Um, so basically, like it's uh, going into paint today. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around now and we'll go through the truck. All right, here's the uh, state of the truck. Um, last time I did an exterior video, a lot was different. This fender was really rotted out, um, way more than it just showed in the video. Um, so since then I've gotten new doors, or restored doors from a local Datsun enthusiast, restored fenders, and a restored hood. Um, so the whole front is basically restored panels. I drilled holes and have uh, decided on fender mirrors. They are a, I found a uh, factory option fender mirror. It's a trapezoidal one. I think it's got a good classic look. Uh, the rocker panels, I found Tabco replacements and welded them in. The interior, um, I've gone with like a race style because uh, I did autocross this. I thought bucket seats were going to help a lot, but then I kind of got out of uh, auto crossing this just because it's not competitive. I think it's going to be more fun to go a show truck route. Um, I've done a battery relocation into the cab and I just finished up an air conditioner install. Uh, I'll show under the hood in a little bit. The doors, uh, I'm going to get painted uh, by the body shop that's doing the exterior. I painted kind of the, the less in your face parts. Um, like the pillars in the back that don't really need to stand up to the wear. I found a spray can. Same guy that sold me these doors uh, turned me on to that spray paint color. It's uh, Rust-Oleum like high-vis blue or something. I really love the color and it's very close to the factory color option. Uh, I did all the body work straightening myself uh, but I've been to a few paint shops to get quotes and uh, you can't really tell in video but if you feel back here it's ripply and they all agree if I go with a high gloss finish on the paint I'm gonna regret not having that smoothed out and it's just it seems to be beyond my abilities um, right now at least and uh, yeah just time I guess I don't know I really want to get this painted so I can start enjoying it for car show season uh, trying to think what else I've done on the exterior. Obviously I've taken all the glass out. Uh, the gaskets were really bad. So I got new gaskets, took the glass out. It was pretty easy on my own. Just a uh, razor blade really going around the front windshield and it popped right out. It's not too heavy. I took it up in my room, uh, the man cave, and then uh, started scraping the tent off that the previous owner put on it. Uh, Yeah, let's uh, see under the hood. I've taken like all trim off in preparation for paint. Uh, it has been my daily driver for almost two years now, so of course I had to get a cup holder. The safety glasses are because South Carolina, this truck is still street legal right now, as long as I wear those <laughs> with no windshield. So I'm actually driving it to the paint shop and I'm taking my mountain bike. It's just down the street. And then I'm riding back over here. Got tools so I can take the tail lights off. And these are a uh, different style tail light. They have the amber turn signal. So I had to rewire the, the way the turn signal and brakes work. We'll go under the hood now.
So I did uh, the battery re relocation that I talked about. Uh, basically the only battery wires that come through are for the starter and the ground. Uh, this is the power for the starter solenoid and the fuel level, things like that, uh, that came, came under the truck from the factory. Didn't relocate any of that. The wires run for everything else, like the headlights run through this fender underneath. Pop out there. And then they run in front of the uh, radiator here. I'll be tucking this up. The air conditioner install made the bracket. Still having some issues with the belt squeaking. Uh, but it's not too bad. Um, it's only happened when I really rev it up. Go ahead and start it. Um, and I'll turn the air conditioner off too. Yeah, it came right on without squeaking. And it's blowing a bit cold already. I'm pretty happy with the install. We'll see how it works. Uh, when it's back on the road, all closed up. I've got the cowl pulled off to be painted separate um, and the tailgate handles. I found replacements on eBay, newly manufactured. So I'm gonna pull those off and the tail lights uh, when I drop it off for paint. I painted the blue here and just kind of refreshed the whole look under here. I'm gonna get some chrome bits to go in, spruce up the look, but one, one project at a time right now. There's the squeak. When it goes up slow, it's fine. I think I just need to tension it a little more. But I'm, an I'm anxious about dropping this off. Um, love this truck. I just dropped it off for paint. And on my bike, getting back home. Tail lights back there. Took my amp out too. Uh, they said turnaround is going to be about a week, so that's that's pretty fast. Um, and I can check on it anytime I want, especially since it's so close. That's going to be nice. Probably go like every other day at lunch. <laughs> Try not to bug them too much. Make sure it's being done how I want it. Um, pretty excited. He uh, he looks like he's going to care for it. He likes the truck. <laughs> is a good sign.